What's up, guys? Hey, Fung Neil here, back with another review for the TV series Stargate SG-1. And in this case, it's going to be a two-season review, notably the numbers 5 and 6. And that's mostly because neither season on their own provided enough of a story progression. But as a whole, we do get a, couple, a few different story arcs that come together. So... Um, overall, as far as the Gould side go, um, we have the system lords that we know of um, still in fighting and realizing the strength of the Earth humans, so generally coming out toward, against them, but they're also now facing a new threat in the um, formerly banished system lord Anubis. So as it turns out, he was banished thousands of years ago by the system lords for unknown reasons or for unspeakable crimes, but now he's back. And as it turns out, he was ascended, but was kicked out by other ascended beings, but didn't completely come back. So he's stuck in the middle somewhere between um, human style Gould and an ascended being. So essentially all the powers of the um of an ascendant being um while still retaining the benefits of a ghoul so he's consolidating his forces and essentially taking power over the system lords so we have that as one threat or an existing threat that's progressing as far as uh, what we've known in stargate sg1 and then on the flip side we have or on the, another threat we have the continued issue with the replicator threat and the asgard so they're continuing to request help or have the humans help and notably SG-1 help them with that problem so um, as it turns out they were able to get um, all the replicators to go to one particular home world and SG-1 was able to stick them in a time dilation device to essentially put them on pause so one day on the in normal spaces like a hundred days in that time dilation sphere to give the Asgard time to figure out what to do with them. Um, originally, it was in, working in reverse because the replicators were able to get into that time dilation device and make it work backwards, where instead of um, them moving slower, the rest of the other galaxy worked slower, so they were able to create a human version replicator. So, essentially, an android built out of replicators, so that's looking to be the next threat on that front so um there's that and then as far as back on earth we have the x3 program going on so the x301 was a prototype human version of a death glider put together by different parts with and then the x302 was a full human built version of a death glider but with alien components to make various things work and then the quadria to power the reactor and then ultimately they have X-303, which is a first interstellar human-built spaceship. So we have a couple of test or a, a original hijacking for one test run and then a shakedown crews for the pilot testing of the ship and then um, testing the reactor from there because that happens to go bad in meeting a new world that was formerly controlled by the Gould Harrower. Um, so a lot of different storylines coming together in these two seasons. And that's all overarching with the death of Daniel Jackson because he helped um, Jonas Quinn's, or a person on Jonas Quinn's planet to save them from radiation, which he ultimately got. But um, ultimately, Daniel was able to ascend. So he's doing his own thing. Um, we see him trying to help, see him try to help Jack ascend while Jack's under the, um, being held prisoner for, uh, with a ball. Um, but Jack denies he doesn't feel like he's worth it. Um, ultimately, Teal, while helping save Braytac, is offered and he doesn't go for it But because his journey is not complete. Um, ultimately, we have Anubis attacking Abydos and destroying the planet, but Oma Dasal is able to help the city dis or the people descend or ascend. So she's able to save them, but we see the ultimate might of... Anubis there with Daniel trying to stop him from destroying the planet, but because he's trying to intervene, um, the others or Oma de Sala um, essentially takes him out of the fight for attempting to change the course of um, life in the normal galaxy and uses powers to help others. So, um, because I know what's going on, he's going to be returned to human form with no memory of what happened. So there is that. But um, overall, we see the ancient storyline coming into play because while Anubis now has 
the eye of Ra to power his, wep- his ship's weapons and defenses to give him superiority over other ghoul, there's still the potential for the lost city that we that's basically the lost city of Atlantis to help fight the Gould and further the storylines there and help take the Gould out as a major or dominant player in the galaxy. So overall these two seasons are um kind of universe tying episodes to start bringing the various storylines together a little bit more to realize to help not only take out the replicator threat and but also the ghoul threat because the stakes are slowly getting higher and higher and they are also the villains are also evolving along with the humans Tokra and Jaffa evolving themselves as well so that's all there is for this particular review that I combine them just because uh, while I said while I did um, enjoy the storylines in each of them, neither one was particularly enough for a review on on their own. But together, we kind of see what's going on in the Stargate universe as a whole. So that's all there is for that review. So with that, I'll be jumping right into Season 7 um, to see what's coming up. I haven't really looked ahead to refresh my memory, so there is that. But... In the meantime, if you have any questions, comments, feedback, or anything like that on this episode or any other review, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website's PatelN01.com for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. And, of course, if you want to help support the show, get access to early content and upcoming content, uh, be sure to support me on the Patreon at Patreon.com slash PatelN01. And I did just update the show notes for patrons for Headphones Neil reviews for January, or sorry, Headphones Neil news for January. So your feedback can start be start to be posted there um, with the episode coming out in the next uh, couple of weeks. So thanks for tuning into this particular review, and until next time.